another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen. And today we got a quick, simple recipe for how to make an acorn squash. And I just have, this is a smaller one, which is perfect for me. I am the only one um, in my home, anyway, who eats acorn squash. I know my mom likes it. Um, and sometimes I make these things when she's coming over because I don't feel like I have to make this big thing and then waste some of it. So that's my little trick. I have washed my acorn and I just cut it right in half. We need to clean out the seeds and whatnot. Um, acorns originate from Central America and Mexico, and it's called an acorn squash in part because it has a little bit of a nutty flavor. Um, I'm just getting these little strings as much as I can out of there. That should be good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, they are a little bit sweeter than some of the summer squashes, and you can, did you know? I know everybody likes to roast pumpkin seeds. Did you know that you can roast acorn seeds? Especially if you're doing multiple acorn squash um, or a large one that has a lot of seeds. Rinse them, clean them, roast them. They'll be delicious. Okay, that was quick. All I need to do now is, and my oven's um, preheating to 425. I'm almost forgot to say. Okay, <laughs> so I have some butter. Let me grab it real quick. Um, and I just put it up there because it keeps it nice and um, kind of melty. I want to just brush the top of it so that when I crack the salt and pepper on there, it'll stick. And then the remaining butter, I'm gonna split between the two and put it in the center. And then when it's done baking, you can just swirl it around and eat it. It's delicious, okay? So I'm just pouring some of this butter in there. Just split it as evenly as I can. It's, it's not a precise thing. That was about a tablespoon of butter. So I mean, I have kosher salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top around the, red, the edge. I almost said the edge. Around the edge, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And your acorn squash baking time is going to vary based on how big your squash is. Um, one's this small, 40 minutes, maybe a little longer. You're just trying to get it to the fork tender um, deadness. And here we go. Perfect. And if you're a vegan, you can use um, like an olive oil or a coconut oil and put it on there instead of the butter. Just a little alteration there for you. You can also sprinkle cinnamon on there. There's lots of variations. It just depends on what your um, flavor palette is. So I'm going to stick this in and bake it. I'm going to check it at 40 minutes. We want it to be fork tender. Um, and if you start to overcook it, it starts to kind of shrivel up. So let's try and avoid that. These are going in and I will pop back on when they are done. Our delicious acorn squash is done. And it really only took for this size about 35 minutes, which is faster than I'm used to. So, um, but then again, it's a really small acorn. It's okay. You're still delicious, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to um, grab one out of here and uh, I'm going to keep that delicious butter right inside. As you can see, there's a little bowl of butter. And um, when you taste this, you can take your fork and I'm just going to show you. You can just um, mix the butter in and just start scraping the sides like so. And then it mixes the butter in and it's so creamy and delicious. So what I wanna do is just taste it and make sure that I don't wanna add any more salt and pepper. Other than that, it's done. It's a really easy recipe. Mmm, well, that's delicious. Nope, I don't wanna add anything else. I think this is perfect, I love it. Um, another thing you could do if you like sweeter stuff, you could add a little bit of maple syrup to it. Um, I prefer this, just I don't like a lot of sweet dishes. Um, unless it's a dessert, then I like it to be supposed to be. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this quick recipe. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one boy puppy.